Hi everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to take the blue dude from Maya and bring him into iClone. 3D Exchange has a preset template for standard Maya Human IK template characters like Blue Dude, which you'll see later. Since iClone only requires hierarchy bones and a skin mesh, I've taken out the unused meshes in this example, and I'm going to export Blue Dude as an FBX. In Export Settings, select Embed Media in order to bring your textures along, and make sure your FBX export is the newest version. I've imported him into 3D Exchange now, and my first step is going to be to select Convert to Non-Standard Character, and because he has a standard Maya rig, I can select the Maya Human IK Bone Mapping Template, and it will all be done automatically for me. We're basically halfway through the process already. Next, I'll just want to select the active box in order to preview my calibration motions. At this point here, we want to check for any posture problems, mesh overlaps, etc. As Blue Dude here does his exercises, we can see that the bone mapping was a big success, and our character is ready to go on to the next step. Once you're satisfied, just click the convert button. Now your character is officially in iAvatar format and we can select Apply to iClone to import the character directly into iClone using the app link feature. Once my character is in iClone, I can now apply any motion tailored for iClone standard or non-standard characters to my blue dude with great results. The power of 3D Exchange allows you to do all of this in just a couple of minutes.